Hello everybody and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And today I am going to be completing the spooky campaign. So last episode I kind of started the second page here where we got to test out the new spooky units. And it looks like today we're going up against the temple. So let's go ahead and jump into the level here. Now we've got our spooky units and $10,000 to make an army that can take out these spear guys and shields for Zeus's. And then we've got a ballista on this side with some haplites and then the same thing over there. So I have to try and use these guys to take out their army that's trying to protect this temple apparently. So let's go ahead and start by getting some catapults. I'm going to put two catapults. Are you on the roof? No, I don't want you on the roof. I want you over here because I'm hoping that they can take out these guys. And then I'm going to put one in the middle to take out these guys. And then last episode, vampires did a really good job. But I don't know what they're going to do up against Zeus. So I think I'm just going to put a bunch of sword casters. And then for the rest of the units, I'm going to do the skeleton warriors. Because that seems to work fairly well. Or at least it worked really well last episode. So let's go ahead and start the battle here. And let's see... How these guys do... Oh, great. The ballista has apparently changed positions to attack these guys. Let's see how the pumpkins do. Okay, they took out all of those. Wait. Oh, they almost got the ballista. How's the sword casters doing? Apparently, they're all getting taken out. What? What is this? Wait, why did the swords just take out my own guy? What was that? I have no idea. All we have left is the pumpkin catapults. Come on. Did you miss? I think it missed. What about this one? There we go. I don't think that did anything. Come on, pumpkins. All right, have we taken out any of them? No. None of the Zeus's have been taken out. Great. Okay, so I'm not using these guys. They did not do anything helpful. I'm going to try the vampires because they are cheaper. So we're going to put a bunch of those in. And then I might try the archers. So let's put in archers in the back, and then for the rest, we'll just add in another skeleton warrior. So let's see how this does. We've got our vampires jumping in. I'm keeping the pumpkins because I think they do a decent job. How are the vampires doing? Uh, not too good. They have to get Zeus, and right now, they're getting zapped by lightning. We do have a few bats coming in over here. Let's see. Can they get the Zeus? All right, one of them is... Okay, he's dead. I thought they got Zeus, but they, at least the archers have kind of lit them on fire. Okay, we got one Zeus. One Zeus is down. Where's the uh, other units? Is this the only guy left? How is it the pumpkin catapult is the last unit left every single time? All right, so I think the closest we've gotten so far is using these archers. So I'm going to put a bunch of archers. I'm going to put some candle heads in because they kind of knock back units. And I'm hoping that these archers can do a good job at taking out Zeus. Because Zeus is kind of the main problem here. So there we go. We've got rid of all these guys. All we have to do now... Oh, no. Come on. Fire at the Zeus's. They're all dead. Oh, great. I think that would work. The problem is we need to get rid of the guys in front of Zeus. All right. So I decided to put in some catapults along with the archers here. I'm hoping... Oh, great. There goes all the archers. I tried to spread them out so that wouldn't happen, but apparently that didn't work. All we have left is these guys. Wait, is there anyone else? Oh, there's candle heads. Come on, candle heads. Wait, this one guy with this fire arrows might be able to do this. Ne never mind. That's the closest we've been so far. Okay, so I'm trying it again here. We're doing a good job. They're going after the catapults, which is good because they can't seem to hit them. Oh, we actually took them out. Yes. All right, we took out the Zeus's finally. All that's left is the ballista and these hapolites, which should be really easy compared to Zeus. As long as they stop deflecting. Seriously? How do you guys only hit the shield? Okay, there we go. We took them out. And now we just have to get this guy who's actually using the ballista for cover. There we go. We took out the final haplite, and that is level one done. That actually was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But there we go. Let's see. So this is the next level here. We're apparently surrounded by uh, spears. 
Great. You know what you do when you're surrounded by spears? You get a bunch of vampires. Go vampires. Let's get them. This should be like a really easy one compared to the last level. Because these guys are just going to take out everyone. Because look at this. They just like jump on them. And then... Oh, wait. They're actually taking out my vampires. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, vampire. We just have to get this guy. There we go. Because as soon as they attach onto the guys, they can't do anything. They just jump on them, and then they fall over, and that's pretty much it. So there we go. That was really easy. So what's the next one? Okay, so apparently we have berserkers now. Once again, vampires. Let's just get a circle of vampires. Let's see how this does. Because as soon as these guys jump on them, they just can't do anything. Like, look at that. They're just stuck on the ground. Like, this guy right over here, he's stuck on the ground. That guy's gone. Like, it's... Oh, wait, what is this? We got Jarls. Oh, no. These guys are what usually takes out my vampires. Oh, this is not good. Wait, how many do they have? Is that four? Okay. Let's do one, two, three. Three sword casters and a bunch of warriors. So I'm hoping that the warriors... Okay, never mind. All right, let's try that again. Let's not put these guys right in the middle. I was trying to keep them from dying instantly by putting uh, the warriors around. Uh, this is also not working. Okay, one of them has survived. Okay, this is good. As long as this guy survives, we should be good. All right, you got to back up. You really have to back up. I have a new idea. I'm going to try and put the sword casters right over here. Because I'm hoping that these guys are just going to leap right over them. There we go. Okay, they leaped right over them. And now they can stay here in the back and just take out everyone. Look at this. Look at how fast they throw these swords. Like, this is crazy. All we have to do now is take out the Jarls. Which, uh, if we just have all three of these guys gang up on the Jarls, we should be able to take them out. We still have some uh, warriors left as well. But look at this. Oh, right. They're getting close. This is bad. Come on. We got to take them out. All right. So I'm going to try the sword casters again. I was able to put four of these guys in. So I'm hoping if I have four of them, maybe that'll do enough. Like, look at this. It's just like rapid fire sh swords. Let's see. Is this enough to take these guys out? Maybe four versus four is enough. Okay. We caught, got one. We got three. We got four. Yes. All we needed was four sword casters. It was just rapid fire swords. So that is that level completed. So now what do we have? We got long ships, ice archers, and some brawlers. This shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to put in my own archers right here. And then a bunch of skeleton warriors. And I might as well put in some catapults along with some candle heads. And then the rest of them will just do two more... Uh, warriors in the front so the goal is to try and get rid of these ships like that so now the ships are gone my archers should be able to do some good damage against these guys and hopefully we don't get taken out by the ice archers i just realized they have a bunch of ice archers no skeletons they're, they're all getting frozen come on we can beat this stop falling over Okay, yep, this is not good. They're all just freezing to death. All right, so I've got a new idea. I'm just going to put in a bunch of warriors because I'm hoping with these guys and their shields, they might be able to deflect the arrows. I've got a group of them up here that'll hopefully activate the ships. There we go. The ships have been destroyed. Now all we have to do is get to these archers, and I'm hoping these shields will be able to do a good job at deflecting the arrows. They're making their way across the ships. The problem is we're losing a lot of warriors right now. You know, we actually have a lot left. I thought we lost a lot of uh, warriors, but there's still a decent amount. This might be enough to break through and get these archers. Because as soon as one of these guys gets close, all the archers are basically done. There's not really much they can do. Here we go. The first skeleton is made to the archers. Yes, I think this is actually going to work. Here we go. They're just going to start slowly taking them out. These guys are slowly getting unfrozen, which is good. And these guys should be able to take out our archers. I think there's still a guy with a paddle. There's still a guy with a paddle here. Oh, great. We got to take this guy out. But look at this. Look at how many warriors we have left. 
The problem is we gotta stop scaring these guys because they run away and then we can't get to them. Okay, we finally took this guy out after running around the entire map. We finally took out the paddle guy. Perfect. Let's see. What is the next level? We should be getting close to the end. All right, so I just looked at the levels. There are three more left. If I just put a bunch of sword casters with uh, a few archers. Oh, I didn't know there was. Oh, great. Okay, maybe a few sword casters is not gonna do this. I didn't know there was that many units around. So let's just try this anyway and see how this goes. We got our sword casters here taking out the monks, which should be pretty easy. Oh no, they're flying away. Okay, this is not good. He's now on the roof. I don't know if that's gonna help. Do not fall in the river. We do not want you to fall in the river. That would not, no, don't go in the river. Don't fall in the river. Okay, he fell in the river and just got washed away. Great. But at least we still have... Oh, that's victory. Yeah, we actually had a lot of units left. So there we go. That is victory. Let's see. What's next? We have... Oh, this is the, uh, the Renaissance. All right, so let's go ahead and try these sword casters and see if they can actually take out uh, the musketeers. Because I put in some skeletons here to hopefully distract... And right now, it's working out really well. Oh, great. We've only got two left. But they just fired, so that should be enough to take all these guys out. Look at that. Just one sword for each of them. And there we go. The sword casters won the level. So I think there's one more level after this, and then we're done. Oh, we're going up against the pirates. This will be interesting. So you know what? Let's put the reaper in. Haven't really hit, used him too much. And then sword casters, because those guys are, like, really powerful. We'll put some archers, candle heads, and, you know, we'll put a catapult back here, and then some warriors. Let's see if this is enough to take out the pirates. Because, uh, we do have these, uh, pumpkins that do a decent amount of damage. Our sword casters just died. But let's see if the reaper can actually take these guys out. Apparently the reaper's dead. Apparently everything's dead. So, uh... We're gonna need something a little bit different. All right, so I'm gonna try some vampires. Hopefully these guys will do a good job. I'm gonna put like some on one side and some on the other, and then we'll put some uh, skeletons in the middle. Hopefully spreading these guys out will do a good job. Because look at this, they're just gonna come in here and take out everyone. Like there we go, we got rid of the bomb guys. We do have to take out the captain here, which uh, these guys should be able to do that. Like, look at how much damage these guys do. It's just, like, instantly takes these guys out. We've only got a few more guys over here. We do have the cannons, which uh, are kind of difficult to take out with the vampires. Let's see, can these guys... Oh, no, not the bombs. All right, we survived the bombs. We just have to get rid of this person. Oh, great, did we just lose the vampire? I think we just lost the vampire. All right, there we go. We destroyed the cannon. Now, can we get this? No, oh, not the bombs. We almost survived it. It was so close. It came down to the bombs. All right, so I think this strategy is going to work. I'm going to try it one more time here. See if we can actually do a better job. Because last time, the bombs is what took us out. But if we can get rid of the person that throws these bombs, maybe we can win this. There we go. We got victory. We took out this person right here is the one who throws all the bombs. And we also got rid of the cannons a lot faster this time. So there we go. That, I think, is the final level. Let's see. Is there one more? Nope. That's it. Happy Halloween. It, it's not Halloween. I, I think this is supposed to be released during Halloween. It's a little early for Halloween. But there we go. That is the spooky campaign complete. The next one is the uh, the simulator uh, campaign, which this one looks really interesting because it has like all the simulation levels, which have a bunch of different uh, kind of like terrain that you have to try and navigate. 
And then after that, we have the Wild West. And then I think that's it for the campaigns. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.